Good morning, Earthly Virgo. Happy Saturday to you. I want to ask Spirit to come into this reading for the Earthly Virgos today. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, what messages does Spirit have for you today? This is the first deck that I that I ever used when I started when I first started doing readings on YouTube. So we're going to see what kind of magic this deck has for today for you today, Virgos. Take what you need, leave the rest. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nikki, and you are the Earthly Virgo. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we got some some conflict here, Earthlies. Um, is there like some communication problems here? You know, some competition and struggle between you and someone else. Okay. The uh, Ace. I'm sorry, the King of Wands. Hmm. It's like somebody's watching, or maybe you're watching the conflict because then you don't want to get involved. You say, you know what, I'm done. I'm not sh just fuck, <laughs> you know, forget it. You know, you don't want to be involved in this stuff. Um, you don't want to be involved in any other by anybody else's problem. You got your own problems. You got your own uh, issues that you're dealing with. So you say, you know what, okay, I'm put this down. Okay. You know, it's like you've got your own problems, your own issues that you're dealing with, and you don't want to deal with anybody else's problems, anybody else's arguments or or, or anything. So you just leaving a lot of you leaving. It's like you're leaving the negativity behind because you just want to be happy. You want to be at peace. You want people to leave you the hell alone, Virgo. You know, I don't want to be involved in that. You know, I don't want to hear about it. Don't do you, you know, uh, uh, whatever y'all over there arguing, whatever the beef is, I don't want a piece of it. I got my own problems. Okay. Leave me out of it. And you leave them behind. Cripple crazy and everything else. You're leaving it all of that alone. You're leaving it all behind. Like, nope. I'm doing me and you do you. Or go say, I am out of it. I am done. It's like you, they want you to be the referee, but you don't want to have anything to do with it. Okay. Or go. And we have the queen of swords here. Okay, the Queen of Swords. Somebody wants to come after you, like, wait a minute. You know, can you just give me your opinion on what you want me to do? You know, it's like, nope, I'm sticking to my word. I want you to leave me the hell alone. You know, I'm I'm sticking to what I said. I don't want to be involved. I don't want to do it. You know, um, go get some help from somebody else because I'm not here. I'm not doing this, you know. Um, because you've been through a lot. You're you're already holding on to all of your issues that you don't really want to share with anybody, but it's like you got a lot going on. They said, well, I've helped you through this or I've helped you through that. Can you at least give me your opinion? Can you answer this question for me? Can you tell me what to do about this person over here? Nope. I've suggested that to you before, but you didn't want to listen. Now look what look at you. Now look what's going on. OK. Now they want your opinion, but you're done. You, you've, it's like you've told this person time and time again to leave this issue alone and they keep doing the same shit different day. So why are you constantly asking me my opinion if you're going to turn around and do the opposite of what I've already suggested to you to do? No. Okay. It's like they, they, they didn't listen, you know, like what you didn't tell. It's like what you told them, they didn't believe it, or they felt that what they were doing was better than what you had suggested to them. It's like they didn't trust you. I'm not going to trust what Virgo say. Okay. Uh, well, maybe I will, but I'm going to try my way first. So this person's way is not working. All of a sudden they're coming back. What should I do now? I already told you what you should do. Kick that bitch to the curb. Okay. But this person doesn't want to. They don't have the strength to. To walk away. They don't. But they, they come to you for, for, for their issues. They come to you for their problems. But you don't, you're leaving a lot of people out in the cold. Probably even changing your phone numbers. Don't want to be bothered or blocking people out or... Merely just, just you know, ignoring your calls, ignoring calls. You got communication coming at you real, real fast. Okay, everybody want to talk. You know, everybody got a problem. Everybody got an issue. You know, and they want to come to you because they know that you will help them solve it, Virgo. Or at least they're gonna try to get you to help. But you know, it's like you don't want to be bothered. You, you in your own peace. You know, serendipity. <laughs> you in your own peace. You know, you just searching for your peace of mind. But these people keep messing with you, keep flocking toward you, you know, for your advice about how to solve their problems. Everybody got problems and it's OK to help. But sometimes, Virgo, you got to learn how to say no, walk away. And evidently you're doing that. Finally. All right. 
so I've been thinking about another um, thing to to add to personal readings. If you wanted to do a, get a reading for someone, I'm going to put those prices in the, the location you know where to find them at. Like if you want to purchase a reading for somebody's birthday or if they're having an issue, um, you purchase a reading for them and I'll send the link, the, par the private link to them, different things like that. Okay. What are some final messages here for the earthly Virgos, please? Ooh, we got carrying a lot. So you got a lot going on, you know. Um, you already have a lot going on. You have a burden and you're feeling overwhelmed and possibly exhausted because of some bad habits, Virgo, that you're bringing on yourself. And you got to realize, like, I got to do this. You know, um, we have the Ten of Wands and we have the Devil card. So you're having a heavy burden going on right now. You got a lot of heavy energy around you, but I'm thinking this is some bad habits that you need to, to break. Okay. You need to find a way. I'm not saying stop. You know, it's going to take a minute for you to get rid of those bad habits, but ultimately if you want to feel better, you got to break these bad habits. That's what's weighing you down. Those habits that, that you have. Okay. It could be a person you're dealing with. Now you got, you got to walk away from this. Time to walk away. Um, I'm hearing also it's time to clear clutter. Okay. Time for some spring cleaning. It's time to shake some things up. Somebody's possibly having toe pain, foot pain, and you're probably soaking it in water to help ease the pain or ease the swelling or something. I'm also hearing something about neuropathy, symptoms for somebody. Whew. Power, Virgo. Whoa, what's going on? It's like as soon as you stop doing what it is, like you, you, the habit that you have, and you stop, you do good for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, and then it's back to the same stuff, different day. Okay, the spirit is telling you you gotta, you gotta fix this. You gotta do this. I'm hearing before it's too late. You know, however that resonates with you, you gotta, you gotta change some things. Okay, spirit is telling you have everything within you. All the creativity to do some to make changes in your life, to start anew. Okay, be inspired to do something that's going to help you, that's going to better your health. Okay, uh, whatever this is, it's, it's like you're being you. It's like it's time to to stick to your guns. It's time to to follow through with what you said you were going to do, Virgo. Okay, communication. Are you telling yourself that I'm a failure? I can't do this. I'm tired of this, you know, or I'm tired of failing. I'm tired of yo-yo dieting. I'm tired of drinking and starting and stopping smoking or whatever it is. It's like you got to you got to do this because right now you don't know how possibly you don't know how to change these habits and stick to them. OK, because uh, you got to have the strength. The strength is already within you. That's what you don't understand. I'm hearing you are you are the consummate Virgo. You could do this. You do anything you set your mind to, Virgo. Okay. Let's clarify this tower. And we have hit the chariot moving away. <laughs> so you will move away from this tower, but you got to stick to it. You got to say what you're going to do and do it. Okay. If this is something that you know you need to do, it's, it's time to do it because, um, yeah, it, it, this is a need. The opportunity for you to change this and opportunity. It, it's like the, the opportunity for you to forego this tower by just moving forward and just doing it. OK, when I woke up this morning, the first thing I heard, heard in my head was walking in the park. <laughs> so I'm going to go walking in the park a little bit later because it's going to make you happy. It's going to speed up those and make those endorphins in your body feel good, Virgo, just to get out and enjoy the sunlight and, and whatever it is that you're doing, whatever you need to change. This is the perfect opportunity for you to do a vision board. I went to the store last night when me and my friend went to dinner and I got some stuff to do a vision board because one of my residents has been bringing me magazines. I told him I needed it. If he was throwing away, just bring them to the office. But So do a vision board. When I get that vision board done, I'm going to show you all what it looks like. Uh, get you a vision board. I already have one on weight loss, but I think I'm going to do another one on like my future life where I want to live, maybe a significant other, um, different things like that. Okay. Go. Ooh, I thought I saw, I said significant other and I saw the emperor. <laughs> so, significant others, emperors and emperors, emperors and empresses entering our lives, earthlies. Significant others. 
for Virgo. Hmm, somebody's still crying over a past significant other, okay? But you got to understand there's still two of cups in your life, still two of cups that you have yet to see. There's, there's still love coming your way regardless of what you've been through in relationships. But you got to have strength in knowing that there's somebody else and stop carrying a burden of a past relationship that, that was, wasn't good for you in the first place, all right? I hope this message resonates with you, Virgo. Talk to you later on.